Hi, so this video is about the chapter wise weightage for group two subjects. Now in your CS executive, there is group one and group two, each having four subjects. For group one, I have already uh, made the chapter wise weightage and the average mark. So it is valid across attempts since it is an average and doesn't move, move uh, very different from that. Now let's talk about group two and your strategy for group two, what it should be. So you have four subjects, your corporate management accounting, securities law, EBCL and FTSM. Your corporate management accounting and FM are MCQs, whereas the other two are your theory subjects. This is a relatively easier subject to score or easier group since you have two MCQs papers and it's very scoring if you can score well in the MCQs. Now talking about corporate and management accounting. First, it's divided into part A and part B. Now in part A, you have all these lessons, corporate accounting, distribution of marks is clearly given 60 and part B is 40. Now let's see the chapter wise weightage for part A. In part A, if you go to see your share and share capital comes for around 16 marks, which is the highest weightage, which is all your issue of shares, buyback, redemption, etc. Then your accounting standards, your theory chapters comes in a lot. So these are the chapter wise weightage for part A. For part B, when we go to see your management accounting and valuation, <clears throat> These are your chapters, total 22 chapters you all have. In that, the chapter wise weightage, if you go to see the highest weightage is of the valuation, the methods of valuation, valuation of shares. The next biggest is your decision making tools and your ratio analysis, most important and budgeting. So these are your important chapters for <coughs> CMA. Now, what should be the strategy for CMA? is here. Now pay attention to this very closely. Many students don't realize that around 70 marks for your CMA paper comes as theory, pure theory. Okay. So all the theory chapters as well as the practical chapters from which also they ask theory and only approximately 30, 32 marks is your actual sum solving for which you might need a calci. So while studying, keep this in mind that you can very well clear and get exemption provided you study all the theory perfectly. Now again, Fatima ma'am will be taking the theory as well as the practicals in the revision lectures. So stay tuned for that. Next is my subject and one of my favorite subjects is your security law and capital markets. It's for 100 marks. The chapter distribution is clearly given that part A that is your securities law will be for 70 marks, 14 chapters and capital markets and intermediaries is two chapters for 30 marks. So no points for guessing which is the most important part. It is your part B since only doing two chapters you can score 30 marks and the weightage is confirmed. Okay. So whenever you start, obviously these chapters has to be very well put across. So this is the chapter wise weightage. It's an average mark. So it stays valid across attempts because it doesn't move away a lot from the average marks. So if I break it down into grade A, grade B and grade C chapters, now pay attention to what I'm saying clearly. Okay. Now first grade A are the most important chapters, which have the highest weightage in examination. So the very first no points for guessing is your capital structure and your securities markets. Collectively, they have a confirmed weightage of 30 marks. Now this weightage that I'm giving you is with the option. So the paper comes not for 100 marks. But in total, it comes of 130 marks. So here you have with this two chapters, the most important, then there is a new regulation that has been introduced 
विच हैज मर्ज द शेयर बेस एम्प्लॉई रेग्युलेशन एज वेल एज द स्वेट इक्विटी रेग्युलेशन सो द शेयर बेज एम्प्लॉई रेग्युलेशन अर्लियर हैड अ वेटेज ऑफ एट मार्क्स एंड द द स्वेट इक्विटी रेग्युलेशन हैड अ वेटेज ऑफ फोर मार्क्स इन द एग्जाम दीज बोथ हैव बीन रिपील्ड एंड इन इट्स प्लेस वी हैव द शेयर बेज एम्प्लॉई बेनिफिट्स एंड स्वेट इक्विटी रेग्युलेशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ओके दिस कम्स फॉर अराउंड इलेवन मार्क्स इन योर एग्जामिनेशन आई सी डी आर एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू जस्ट यूट्यूब इट यू विल ऑल्सो गेट माई लेक्चर्स फॉर आई सी डी आर आई हैव क्रिएट आई हैव हैड अ डिटेल्ड सेशन ऑन दैट ऑन यूट्यूब एज वेल रिविजन लेक्चर सो इलेवन मार्क्स देन योर टेक ओवर कोड एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट टेन मार्क्स म्यूचुअल फंड टेन मार्क्स एंड एल ओ डी आर एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट रेपिटेटिवली आस्क ऑल दीज चैप्टर्स आर द ग्रेड वन चैप्टर्स यू स्टडी दीज चैप्टर्स दीज सिक्स चैप्टर्स एंड यू कैन स्कोर यू नो एटी मार्क्स इन द एग्जामिनेशन दिस इज इंक्लूडिंग द ऑप्शन ओके सो एटी आउट ऑफ वन थर्टी देन कम्स द ग्रेड टू चैप्टर्स द ग्रेड टू चैप्टर्स अगेन आर रेलेटिवली not as important but also have weightage is your buyback of securities 8 marks i uh, the pit regulations insider trading regulations delisting the new regulations 2021 again this is the second most important chapters and then your ombudsment chapters so here if you go to see there are these four chapters in your grade 2 okay so 1 2 Three and four. These four chapters are for thirty marks in your examination. Then comes your grade three chapters, which very basic questions are asked uh, from these chapters. There are four chapters having an exam weightage of ten marks. Your SEBI, uh, the SCRA Act, your this has been repeated the Depositories Act and your know, CIS scheme. So this is the all sixteen chapters. Chapter wise weightage. sebi obviously securities law understand that the main regulations have been given the highest weightage and rightly so the next law subject again is my subject is your ebcl the economic com uh, business and commercial laws now here also the distribution is already given your part a that is your fema is for 40 marks 11 chapters it's Uh, students feel it is little technical, but it we have done it practically, so we know it's very very simple. The next is your competition law, one chapter for twenty five marks. Then your uh, business commercial laws, twelve chapters are only for thirty five marks. So no points for guessing. The most important chapter here is your competition law. If you YouTube it, you will also get my lecture on this. Okay, so twenty five marks, one chapter, and you get twenty five marks. So obviously, makes sense to perfect this chapter. The next is your FEMA, foreign exchange, eleven marks, and then lastly, it is your the other twelve chapters where they ask very basic repetitive questions from the part C, and a little bit of situational questions. Okay, so if you go for the chapter wise weightage, it's something like this for. the you know each chapter then this is for your part 2 is confirmed weightage of 25 marks and then you have your 12 chapters for 35 marks now if i break this down into the most important chapters grade a grade b grade c so competition act one chapter you should be a master of it is 25 marks next is fema it comes for around 10 marks very very important then comes your transfer of property act uh, 8 marks nbfcs sez act rbi act fdi act now in fdi there is a new regulations okay uh, which you need to do the debt and the non debt regulations i will be taking a revision lecture on that i have practically worked in that segment so i will show you all the practical filing paper or uh, the filings uh forms also fc gpr fc trs all those forms okay so this is fdi these all chapters are the grade a chapters which are seven chapters for 70 marks 
देन कम्स योर नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट चैप्टर्स दैट इज योर ग्रेड टू एट चैप्टर्स यू टू स्टडी एंड यू गेट फोर्टी मार्क्स नाउ दिस कम्स इन योर एफ सी आर ए अ कन्फर्म फाइव मार्क आंसर इज शॉर्ट शॉर्ट फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर ओ डी आई रेग्युलेशन देन कम्स इंडियन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट स्पेसिफिक रिलीफ एफ टी पी रेग्युलेशन देन स्टिल इट कंटिन्यूज योर सील ऑफ गुड्स एन आई एक्ट कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट देन कम्स योर ग्रेड थ्री चैप्टर्स नाइन चैप्टर्स फॉर ट्वेंटी मार्क्स ओके सो यू स्टार्टिंग नाइन चैप्टर्स एंड कलेक्टिवली देखे हैव अ वेटेज ऑफ ट्वेंटी मार्क्स द रेरा बेनामी मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग पार्टनरशिप एक्ट यू नो योर अदर फेमा देर इज वन डिटेल्ड फेमा एंड वन वेरी स्मॉल फेमा इज एर कमोडिटीज एक्ट लीगल मेट्रोलॉजी एल आर एस स्कीम एंड ई सी बी रेग्युलेशन सो ऑब्वियसली इन योर स्ट्रैटेजी यू शुड बी करेक्ट और नोइंग वेर टू इन्वेस्ट एंड योर टाइम then comes uh, financial and strategic management now fm supremely simple i used to take this uh, in icsi fema or uh, the financial management for the professional level now from professional they have removed it they brought it into executive and uh, currently fatima ma'am is you know handling this entire subject and again she will be coming in with the revision lectures where we will be covering the theory as well as the practical sessions okay now in this if you, no points for guessing capital budgeting will always have the highest weightage next will always be capital structure after that will always be working capital so this is the standard which is always there from years together this is the weightage for strategic management again for those who are not very strong with practicals strategic management you need to score 40 marks dedicated full theory you have six chapters and uh, the highest weightage is your fourth that is a strategic analysis business policy formation implementation control edge now these are six chapters for 40 marks you can easily score 30 35 year okay and uh, you can youtube this also strategic management you will get my lectures for this also we will be having few revision lectures now what is the hack for this for fm now understand the weightage of theory in the paper is 75 marks 75 marks theory is there in ftsm paper and practical is only 25 marks this is a standard you can check up this is there and it will always be there first is the theory is from part a and part b but the practical 25 marks is only from part a so this 25 marks is only of part a so focusing not only on the practicals but also on the theory and the theory we've covered in proper detail from the module along with the sum so both coverage has to be done otherwise you will not be able to score also you can join our telegram group given in the description okay where we where we will be having revision lectures the important updates of icsi second the chapter wise weightage for group 1 i have already done you can youtube it or you will find the link in the description or in the video that is it all the best see you in the lectures